Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're gonna crush cars with a crusher. And it doesn't really matter where we go to do this, so I'm just gonna go to grid map. So the crusher does use the new vehicle selector, which you pull up by hitting spacebar. And you can see right there, boom, there is the car crusher. So we can go ahead and select it, choose a color, but that does absolutely nothing. So it really doesn't matter what color you pick. And then we hit apply. And here is the car crusher. To operate it, you can either use the comma and period keys on your keyboard, or you can just use the little arrow keys on your screen for the blinkers. Either way, a right blinker will lower the crusher, and a left blinker will raise the crusher. That is the minimum, or the yeah, the minimum height that the crusher can go at. So you don't totally ruin the cars to bits, but you can crush them decently well. So let's go ahead and raise the crusher and put a car in it and see what happens. So we're going to go ahead and spawn another car. And we're going to actually move the camera away from the crusher because if you spawn the car while you're the crusher, the car will be kind of stuck inside the crusher. So here we are with the truck. And now you have a question. How do you want to put the car into the crusher? With something like the truck, you might be able to just drive up on it eventually. But the easiest way to put the car in the crusher is to just hit F8, move the camera over to inside of the crusher, and then hit F7 and just drop it in. That is the easiest way to put the vehicles in the crusher. And now, let's go ahead and crush it. And, you know, I can also say, you know, some other ways you could do it is you could put a ramp right in front of the crusher, or you could use like a forklift. Either way, this is the easy way. That's the way I like to do it. So there we go, that is a fully crushed truck. We can go ahead and uncrush it. Well, it doesn't really uncrush it, it just raises the crusher. And let's see, will it drive? It does drive. That back tire is not happy though, it is... Yeah, I wonder what will happen with that tire when we go over the bumps. Surprisingly, it works out still re re relatively well. Like, that tire is so ruined looking, I figured it would be terrible because that's basically a flat tire. But it still drives. I don't understand the physics behind how that tire still drives, but it does. So let's uh, let's go ahead and you know what? Let's do this. Re flip the truck over, put it back in the crusher, and crush it the other way. Just to see what happens here. There won't be too much crushing to actually happen, unfortunately, because it's already so short like this. Yeah, you see, there's not really much happening here. You can take a look at it though after it's uncrushed. And it looks exactly the same. Well, the tires are all ruined now. I ruined every tire. They all still spin. And they're all ruined. This single's gonna be terrible to try to drive. So let's go ahead and just uh, pull up it right here and that'll roll it over. Now, we can just see how it drives. Oh, that's not that bad. You don't even notice it. They sp the tires spin so fast, you don't even notice the fact that they are all obliterated up. Whoa. That sounded really weird. I don't know why. It just sounded really weird. Like, I, I, I have to assume I wasn't just hearing things. That sounded odd. All right, so let's go ahead and try a different car in here. Let's try using a T-Series because that's the biggest, like, the most different vehicle I can get. Just going from, like, a normal passenger vehicle to a big rig. And it's sort of flipping the crusher, but that actually might be interesting as well if we put the crusher on its side and crush them like that. So thank you for that, Big Rig. You're giving me some ideas here, but actually, I want to crush you normally, so I gotta flatten out everything first. Let the uh, crusher be straightened out, reset it just in case. And let's see if you'll fit in there. You're pretty tall, but I think it'll fit. There we are. Fits, but not much clearance is left. Like, that's a tight fit. So let's go ahead and crush it. Let's go a little bit of slow-mo on it. Eight times slow-mo. Man, watching the cab just deteriorate like that is crazy. It's just, it's there, and then the next second is just gone. I guess deteriorate's probably not the proper word to use there. But just watching it, it's crazy. That driver's dead. That driver is really dead. The truck, however, can sort of drive. I say sort of drive because we're not moving, but the tires do spin. I'm trying to move it. I'm trying to go out of here. Come on, truck. It's not happening. No way, no how. Oh, interesting. When I reset it, it's all stuck inside. Doesn't really matter because I was going to change vehicles anyways. Hopefully the next vehicle doesn't get stuck as well. Uh, let's do the bull light. I almost wonder if it'll even do anything to it because it is so short. 
Like, the crusher might just go right over it. I don't know. It's probably not that short. It'll probably make it at least look like a convertible, but... I'm not expecting much damage to come out of this. Alright, that looks fully crushed. Bring the crusher up. One nice thing about this crusher I'm noticing is it doesn't ha seem to, like, want to grab the cars like some other crushers I've seen ha have a habit of doing. Where it's like it's grabbing the car as it opens up. This one seems to uh, actually let go of it. And the bolide is just now a convertible. That's that's it. It just looks like a convertible. And it has increased stability because I think the only reason I didn't just flip there was because the door was open. Like, that door was keeping me upright. That is impressive. I have improved the car dramatically by crushing it. Except it doesn't exactly drive straight, which, uh, well, that's not too important, honestly. I think that's a minor feature of vehicles. Driving straight, it's a minor feature. You know, my car with the bent frame, it didn't drive straight. It didn't have that feature. Oh, man, I really ruined the dirt over here. I don't know what I did to Gridmap to do this. I don't even know if it was me or it was a mod I installed. But this should be dirt and mud and stuff, and I just noticed that is not dirt and mud and stuff. Whoopsie. Anyways, back to the crusher. Since we did that, and it seems to work out okay, what if we crush a car that is on top of a car? So we, I'm going to try to do this without the map editor for a second. If it doesn't seem to work out, I'll pull out the map editor. And, oh, that's way worse. Okay, hold on. One more try. That'll do. That'll do. No map editor needed. It's a white car on a white car, though, which is going to be hard to tell what happens in the end, possibly. Okay, well, I see the truck still. And I see the bull light still only on this side, though. Let's go ahead and lift it up and see what happened. Alright. Bull light, do you drive? You make noise, but you can't move. Truck, do you drive? Truck drives, but it, it makes noise, but it can't move. Well, that's uh, a disappointment. They both do the exact same thing. Maybe they're just stuck on each other. So there's the truck. It'll drive. The truck will always drive. Man, that looks... That looks cool. Like, that thing looks really crazy, the way how short it is. Boy, it turned out, well... Pretty much just a convertible with some more spikes, seems like. I'm not going to bother trying to drive it, but taking a look at it, sure. Let's uh, let's try out one more vehicle to the mix. So let's go and just spawn another. Now let's throw in a H-Series. Get it a color this time, so not every vehicle is the same color. Although, yeah, it does change the color of the, tri the regular truck, which is unfortunate. How about this? How about if I just said, uh... Let me move the bolide. It's going to take me a second to set all this up. Sorry about that. We move the bolide, we put the tri the uh, van in, and then we put the bolide on top of the van. Oh! See, so map editor is a lot more precise, which I think I will make use of right here because this is not working out too well. So into the map editor we go. All right, we're in the map editor by hitting F11, and we could just hit F8 so we can move the cars around and stuff. That was not the van at all. Doesn't matter, though. So we can move the van up just like that, and we can grab the bull light, hit J to freeze physics. And we can just move it into place like this, which is just a hundred times easier than trying to actually teleport it in there with precision. Do you see how precise he had to be right there to not get it stuck in either of those vehicles? Very, very precise. So it's a good thing I didn't try to actually do that. I think that'll work okay. So let's go ahead and uh, go back into the game and unfreeze physics and now we can crush these cars one of these is the crusher there we go looks like the bull I crushed the uh, well no they both got crushed I was gonna say the bull I crushed the van but nah they both got crushed can't even see the bull light from this side though the van you can see from both sides I right, let's go ahead and uncrush it one of these is the crusher again I don't know which there we are Oh, it's grabbed it a little bit. Are you going to drop it? The crusher has grabbed my cars. There we are. That really looks like an actual stack of crushed cars. Like, that looks exactly like what you would expect of a real stack of crushed cars. Just for laughs, let's add another one. It's a little bit inside of the bull eyed, so it's not going to work out ideally, but I don't care. I just want to th see some things get crushed. And now I've made a bolide sandwich. A delicious bolide sandwich. Alright, 
Looks like that's uncrushed uh, as much as possible. So you open the crusher. And it looks like the more cars you put in, uh, the more it stays the same in terms of height. Like, it doesn't seem like there's that big of a difference in height. So let's put another truck in. Oh. Well, that wasn't my truck. All I did was move the van. Oh, well. We'll crush it again, so it doesn't matter. All right. Crush time. I have made a delicious meal. Oh, things got laggy right here. I don't know if you could tell, but that was a huge drop in frame rate. We're at like 20 frames per second right here. And the truck is unfortunately stuck in the roof for good. So then we gotta use the alternative methods of crushing with the crusher, which is this. Drop it on them. Oh, it missed. It didn't look like it was gonna do much damage anyways. I just wanted to see if it would do a lot of damage or not. So apparently I gotta do it like here. Yes. It just kind of bounces off. It's so cute. It's like, I can't do much damage. Look, boink. Ah, oh, it does some damage. I want to do this, though, where it falls onto its side. Come on, fall into your... Oh, that's totally not what I had in mind. But I wonder, would it make a difference for the way things crush? It's kind of like it lifts the car to crush it now. It might be easier to get on it because it's shorter on the platform. Yeah, oh, you look at that. You can get on it easier. Although... When you don't just teleport in, look at all this maneuvering you have to do. Yeah, you can tell this is like YBR trying to parallel park. Except it's worse. There we are. And crush. In a different way. So is the outcome going to be much different? Nah, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's uh, pretty much the same outcome. But I was curious to see what would happen. So let's go ahead and uh, reset the truck. We got a pile of cars over there. And let's use the map editor to put this thing onto its side. Or if we get lucky, it might land on its side this time. Nope, no good. So let's go ahead and just. Aw, uh, you know what? Try it, try it. Come on, come on. Come on, don't flip over. Okay, map editor it is. Then we're going to pick the rotation tool. Hit F8 so we can move the camera around. And we're just going to grab it. Freeze physics because it makes things easier, and we're gonna try to rotate it. So here we go. Uh, that looks okay. Let's unfreeze physics. Perfect. Now we can just plop a car into this and crush it like this and see what that does. So let's go ahead and get out of the map editor and grab a car. The truck will do fine. Well, camera freaked out a little bit. Truck will do fine though. Right there. Oh, truck. There you go. And now, we get to crush it. So this will be interesting, because I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen here. Oh, that went great. That went way better than planned. That actually, oh, that went beautifully. There's no hope for that thing to run. That is a beautiful piece of art right there. Okay, maybe it depends on your definition of art, but that is amazing that it worked like that. The bed of the truck has just been obliterate. Er, like the bed of the trucks, everything. You know what? No, no, no. Just everything's been just totally destroyed. There's nothing that you could use again, except maybe the brake lights. The brake lights seem to still function, so those could be reused or something. Everything else is just garbage. Next up is the bolide. Flip it upright so it's a. Uh, prettier to see while you get it crushed to bits. It's a little crooked, but the crusher will straighten it out. The crusher actually jumps up when it look. You can see, it really jumps when you grab the car. It's higher in the air now. And then it kind of sits back down and calms down. And this one looks a lot like the truck, doesn't it? Oh, I just moved the crusher. Oh. Boo, you're not supposed to be up, right? Anyways, though, well, that is what happens when you crush them side by side. You just get some destroyed vehicles. They look cool. Like, this thing looks kind of cool the way it looks. Totally dumb looking, but it looks cool. I'm really sad I actually flipped this, so let me flip it back. 
I fixed that so fast I don't even think the recording software had a chance to see it. But there is the crusher back on its side. And we can put some more cars in it. I don't know what'll happen if we put cars side by- well we can't fit cars side by side really, can we? We could fit a already crushed car right next to it maybe, like just squeeze it in right here. Oh this is- this- you know what, let's just throw in the- let's just throw in everything. Just throw it in, I don't even care where it ends up, just throw in all the cars right here. They're gonna crush them all. Don't even care what angle they're at, as long as they're not stuck inside of things. They might be. Can't tell for sure. Oh, the lag spike. The lag is real. The lag is real. All right, uncrush. You open the crusher. Hey, everything's falling over. That means it can be crushed again, right? The truck's gonna get it. All right, that should be enough crushing for now. Let's go ahead and just actually, instead of moving the cars this time, let's move the crusher intentionally. Hopefully it stays on its side. Wow! Really? <laughs> the crusher, like, I love being upside down, and it just flips itself over every time. So that is the wreckage of the crushed cars. Doesn't look like cars anymore. That's for sure. Does not look like cars at all. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, delete some of these so I'm not lagging so bad. Game crash, so I guess the fastest way to remove the cars is just to restart the game as you're seeing now. It's an unfortunate annoyance, but it happens. So since it crashed, let's go to a different map. Doesn't really matter what ma map we're at for this, but I'm like, you know what, let's go to a different map. Let's go to Small Island, USA. Alright, now we need to just find a place for the crusher. And I'm not exactly sure where I'll put it, because I need to kind of find a flat open area. Oh, hey, that'll work. Put it on a building. Sure, why not? All right, so bring the truck over here. And, oh, well, I was hoping it would be the other orientation. This might be a problem. It's going to be a problem. This is not going to fit. Uh, unless we use the map editor, we might be able to get a little more precision out of it. Or we could just rotate it in the map editor, which is the easy solution. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, have to select the right area now because the game crashed. And grab this. Move it out a little bit. Oh, i got to freeze physics before I start moving things. There we are. Otherwise, it just falls through other things, which is not good. Gonna rotate it. Quick freeze, unfreeze of physics. And then I'm gonna wanna just put it on top of the building. I don't know why that box doesn't match up with that box, but hopefully it'll work out. And unfreeze physics. Oh, that's scary. You see the uh, skeletons over there. Okay, good. It came. To, it go. It went back to where it goes. Uh, but you can see there is the J beam skeleton for this thing. It's kind of crazy. I don't know why it looks so crazy. I'm assuming it has to do with the uh, the structural strength of this thing. It was needed to have some crazy looking J-beam structure for it. But it seems to do its job, so that's all that really matters to me. This isn't exactly something where you're going to damage it. At least easily you won't. So we're going to go and spawn a truck, which is just getting stuck all up in it. Truck. Yeah, let's try doing that. Let's try crushing only the rear end of the truck. So we're going to say park it like there. And we're gonna rush it now. So we're only crushing just the rear. Hey, this would work great for my Abishu. I love just making the Abishu get crushed only on the rear. How's the truck? Is this parking brake on? Parking brake off, and it's good to drive, but I put it in a terrible location so it kind of just flips over. But it will drive is a great thing for that truck. You know, it's interesting. In real life, almost every car you see is front-wheel drive. In BMG Drive, the stock vehicles, you only have one front-wheel drive vehicle. All right, so I want to give the Crusher a challenge. I'm going to use the roll, the racing or roll cage edition of this car, and we're going to roll it up as far as I can get it. In fact, you know what? Instead of rolling it up, let's roll it off so you can have just the back hanging off. So, like, right here, maybe? There we go. It's going to roll it off, like, there. Perfect. Now crush it. Crush it real good. I hope you run still. Yes. Okay, great. Un or open the crusher. This is my new race car. 
It's very fast. I think. Let's find out. Race car, are you ready? Let's go! Ooh, it actually drives... Like, it didn't just... Like... Ah! It doesn't drive great. It drives, though. I mean, we're going a good 30 miles per hour. That's driving. It's faster than you can easily go on a bike on a road like this. And I mean a bicycle, not a motorbike. Look at that. See, 60 miles per hour, and... We're hitting a tree. Don't worry, that door is just slowing us down anyways. I don't know exactly what the chairs are doing, by the way. Those spikes you see, those are the chairs of DB. She's just flipping out. Like, why are you crush me? How dare you? You don't crush me. I am chair. And there's just loud background fizzles in this map. Like, that's just the way it sounds, by the way. If you hear that, like, it just sounds like some sizzling, like a steak. That's the map. It's just weird like that. Right, so let's try this one without the roll cage, see if it holds up any differently, because I am kind of wanting to see if there's much of a difference. I'm going to have to spawn it back into the uh, thing, to the crusher, and then roll it forward a little bit again. Just like last time, and crush it. Oop, didn't crush. Crush it. There you go. Crush it real good. 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 Perfect. Still drives. Actually, it looks a little less glitchy, interestingly enough. Maybe the roll cage is so strong and just the interior doesn't know what to do. Still drives. Let's see, does it drive about the same? It might drive even better. Nah, it's about the same. But I love being able to just crush a car like that and then it still drives re relatively well. It's so fun. It doesn't even look like the same car, though. It looks totally different. Uh, but I think you uh, get a good idea of what this thing does. So let's do uh, the final thing I wanted to crush, which means I have to actually go to one... I have to go to a different map. Well, I don't have to go to a different map, but it's easier because I have to make the crusher be straight again because I don't even know if the MAZ will fit, but I want to make it as easy as possible to try to make it fit. So that's why we're going to go back to grid map. All right, go ahead and spawn up another vehicle back it up a bit so it's not going to get crushed by the crusher when it spawns and change my mind make this in the maz there's no reason behind that by the way it's just i opened up the wrong menu so i'm like you know what just wing it make that on the maz then and let's see can the maz fit even looking at it next to the crusher that is a really tight fit i'm gonna have to use the map editor for it to uh have a chance. It doesn't quite look like it'll fit, but maybe it will. Let's pull up the map editor and see. Alright, so we're gonna freeze physics so it doesn't roll about and stuff. Just grab it, and... It fits that way. The question is height. Height looks good. The MAZ just barely fits. It's like a glove. And all that matters is that it fits a little bit for it to be crushed. You don't need it to fit a lot. Just a little bit. MAZ is having none of this. It's trying to escape. It, it just, it just did. Oh wait, I don't. Nope, I just broke the game. That's all. Yeah, that's pretty much all I managed to do is just break the game. That's, that's that sounds about normal for me. Breaking the game. So don't put the MAZ in the crusher. You're gonna have a very unpleasant time, and your tires will disappear. So there's a couple other things I want to try as well while we're here. The first of which is crushing something on sun gravity. So we'll do a, a normal truck for this one because you've already seen how this thing gets crushed. So it should be a good way to uh, see if there's a difference. So the truck is in place and I'm going to actually lower the gra gravity a little gradually so the truck doesn't obliterate itself too fast from like the increase in gravity. So I'm just doing it like that. So it's a little less damage overall on the truck. So most of the damage will come from the crusher. Whichever that one is. You can never tell which is which. Looks like it's doing about the same. Oh, it's still crushing. It's able to crush a little longer. Because I noticed there's still small movements in how much it's crushing. I think that is now at its limit. But that is definitely more crushing than I had before. So we can go ahead and say Earth Gravity, which will 
truck just jumps. It got hops, man. Hopefully, it don't flip over on me. Oh my goodness, the tires actually still spin. That's impressive. Can it drive though? Like, there's so little of the tires, it's not really drivable. Wait, come on, come on. It limps, it limps along. I'm so impressed. I am so happy for you. It looks like it's walking almost with that tire. That poor truck. Totally squished. Give the truck new life so we can squish it once again. And to give it a little bit more of a chance, we can use the off-road edition. Give it a nice color as well. And there we go. And unfortunately, I'm going to spawn another vehicle, which I think will mean it's going to lose its color immediately. Yes. So let's give it its color back. All right, and now, let's make... Uh, we're going to actually need to spawn a few vehicles, so I'll worry about the color later. I'm going to start off with like four or five vehicles, maybe. And then we'll crush all of them at once. So we're going to make them each a different vehicle, though. We'll have a H-series, a D-series, a Moonhawk. We could throw a Moonhawk in here. Throw a color on the Moonhawk, though. Man, I, just, mm. I miss the cars having, like, default colors. I really do miss that. That's one of those small features I miss having. You can grab a Grand Marshal. Get the custom. Doesn't even matter. I'm not going to drive it, but... Since you give me the option, we'll get the custom, we'll put it in orange. And last truck, we'll make this one into a... I don't know. I try to stick to stock cars for something like this, so how about the pigeon? And if we reset the truck, it'll get a color. And the white van, well the white van looks good in white, so it stays white. And I'm going to place all these into the crusher using the map editor because that is the easiest way to do it. So I'm pretty sure things would go absolutely terribly if I didn't use the map editor for something like this. First up, truck right there. Next up is the white van. Hopefully they'll be able to fit like both of these in there. It's a tight fit though. Oh, they'll fit. Yeah, no problem. It's, it got clearance, I think. Squeeze it back a little more. That looks good. That looks good. Next is the Moonhawk. I don't think I'm going to fit all these cars in here, am I? I'll fit what I can. How's that? I'll try to shove the Moonhawk on top of the van. Yeah. That's going to fit. Totally not. Like I care. You don't tell me what to f what does and doesn't fit. Maybe I can lower the van a bit. It's not quite like right there. And then I can just kind of squeeze it in. Squeeze it on top. I don't know what I'm going to do with the Grand Marshal. Like, the pigeon I can kind of fit in the bed of the truck. Grand Marshal, he'll go on top of the truck then, yeah. This is totally going to work. This is going to be a glitchy mess. But I wanted to squish all these cars at once. To test the strength of the Crusher. Because you saw, it wasn't able to handle the, the MAZ. So I'm wondering if how it will handle five vehicles at once. And I know, all glitched up inside of each other. Don't care. That looks cool though. Like that looks like it's really ready to go and get crushed. So this is the crusher now. So I'm gonna put some slow-mo on this one, not too much, just a little bit, and start crushing. And you know, if it needs a little help, I can always throw on sun gravity. We'll see if it needs it though. That's a little slow. But it is crushing all five cars, no problem. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter how strong it, how how many cars there are for something like this. The real important thing is how strong the strongest car is. But oh, well, it still looked cool either way. I have totally disappeared the pigeon. I just did a magic trick here. There is a pigeon, a green pigeon, somewhere in this stack of cars. The only hint of the green pigeon left is what I believe to be part of the door. Every other piece of it is basically gone. There's a little bit of its windshield, maybe. Hey, you know what? Since we're already all pretty much set up for it, let's try doing some extra crushing with the sun. The sun! 
And I don't think the sun would help crushing the MAZ because the problem was the MAZ was just, it shoots out. You saw it shot out and it's like, you don't crush me. Extra strength wouldn't really help with that, I don't think. It's making a lot of smoke, that's for sure. Okay. That was really strange. I have never ever seen that before. That was just one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. Everything around me just became black with like skid marks or something. That was weird. I can honestly say I've never seen that before. Uh, cars don't look much more crushed than before though. Like they're already pretty good crushed, but I don't know what's going on over here with all this black markings. It looks like a car just like sprung an oil leak or something. But I know that can't happen yet, so I, I, I don't know what to even... That is weird. I've just never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, forget the mod. Look at the glitch the mod made. Alright, I guess, uh... That's pretty much all I could think of to crush. There's probably some more things you guys would want to see. And if that's the case, you could feel free to leave a request in the comments and I'll try to get to whatever you guys would want to see. But just for laughs and because it's tradition, let's drop this down leap of death even though I'm pretty sure uh, nothing at all will happen basically. Alright, so all I'm going to do is just go way over here and become a car crusher and drop it. So we're just going to go boom, boom, and boom. Boom. That's a lot of booms. And let it fall. I don't think much is going to happen, like I said, but tradition's tradition. Anything that is somewhat vehicle-ish, as in you can choose it from the vehicle menu, gets dropped down leap of death. Even if it can't drive, it's going to get dropped down leap of death. Even if I don't think anything will happen, it's going to get dropped down leap of death. Whatever it is, drop it down leap of death. It's always the way to do things. And yeah, this is as disappointing as I thought it would be, unfortunately. So anyways... Like I said, if there's anything else you would like to see being crushed, feel free to request it and I can do another video with the car crusher. Otherwise, until next time, this has been YBR, and I'll see you next time. But first, I just thought of an idea. Sun gravity this thing to try to get some damage on it. Anyways, like I said, until uh, next time, this is from YBR. I'll see ya. It barely cared. Has like so minimal damage. Oh well.